Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Charmi and today we are going to learn about the account engagement that was formerly first known as Pardot, a Salesforce Pardot. Now you can, you know, Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to take a tour of uh, account engagement, marketing cloud account engagement that was formerly earlier known as Pardot. Uh, Pardot is a B2B marketing automation tool, uh, mainly very suitable for the B2B businesses and uh, small size B2C businesses as well, some level. Again, it depends on the requirement. So starting with a quick tour, to find your account engagement liking application here, you need to click on the nine dots. And in a quick find, you need to type account engagement. So earlier you was maybe finding Pardot, but now you need to find account engagement to view the application. And then you click open, then yes, you are here at the dashboard. And this is a quick dashboard. Then we have campaigns. These campaigns are, uh, if your account engagement and Salesforce are connected, then these campaigns are also connected with Salesforce directly. So you need to create your new campaign over here. And uh, yeah, give a name to your campaign. Let's see. 2025. And you need to mark objective so that you will be able to see this campaign in your or the content that you will be building with the account engagement. And you can give a type, let's say it's for a webinar, and this is planned, and you need, can give a start date, end date, start from 12th, and that will end on 31st. And if you have any revenue or something like that, and then you can give that. If this is a child campaign, you can select your parent campaign from here, and then you can create yeah. Save. And yes, your, your campaign is created. So this is a campaign. Then within Pardot, we have options of several automations that we can do where we have engagement studio, where you can build your email automations. You can see group campaigns. Then, uh, and that look like, that looks like, like this. Mm. So you have a several options. Uh, for in engagement uh, in engagement studio uh, that you can you know cover that is you have actions triggers and rules and as per your logic as per your the flow that you need you can you know build a journey email journey over here uh, automation rules automation rules is a rule based real time uh, a segmented a segmentation that you can create over here. For example, when we say rule based, this keeps on updating real time. Automation rules will keep on updating real time. So you need to name your uh, automation rule over here. You need to add a rules. And uh, let's say if you are adding a rule like let's say CRM, CRM contact, uh, sorry, CRM status is lead. Then, and then you are say prospect form feed was completed successfully or was viewed like that way. And then you can have end like this here, match all or match any, then you can have a further groups that you can create. So we'll be looking, uh, we'll definitely look at this in deep later on. And then maybe let's say prospect email is let's say up or something like that and then you can create those groups and all will work together and then when you can have a certain actions over here like um, maybe you want to add this segmented uh, data that is coming from your Salesforce into a specific list or if you want to put this into like if you want to mark any up, you want to update any field over there, that up, then you can have that option over here. Okay. Wait a bit. Huh. Okay, cool. These are the lists that you need to adjust a prospect score. 
you need to give maybe a specific scoring category you need to exist it you need to apply a tag or you want to delete that particular data you need to create a salesforce task you want to sync or do not sync with crm if there are some data that you do not want to sync then you can do that uh, you want to assign this prospect to a queue to a user so there are several criteria you need you can mark them as a review you can notify the assigned user or notify any of the selected user you can remove tag all those stuff this is very powerful and this is a very advanced level of segmentation you can do and then you can use this targeted segmented list for your email campaigns and definitely you can get a good number of results moving further we have page actions you attach your web page any kind of web page over here maybe you can pick it from your website you attach your web page you need to put a tracking code over here there to uh, you know to track the analytics of that particular page and then you can have all those views over here into the page section again this is a very detailed topic we'll definitely look into the details about this segmentation list here is a uh, this is the list that you can create again this is a rule based but this this, this do not uh, you know here this is a dynamic list the prospect assigned to this list are controlled dynamically while by predefined rules and you will not be able to add or remove prospects via imports automation segmentations or manually so as i told that Automation rules are the list of the, are the uh, you know, will contain a data that will keep on updating on real time. But here, the dynamic list is will contain the data that you cannot later on, you know, make any alterations or remove it, or maybe during the segmentation, you cannot do anything like that. So, there are three types of lists that you can create, email test list, you can have a dynamic list, and then another is the list with automation rule. You can, it's your choice, you need to keep a public list that will display in the email preference center. This is ideally a best practice when we are sending an email to the customers uh, that will help them and that will give them an option to unsubscribe or maybe unsubscribe from particular category, like a marketing emails or operational emails all and then you need to allow this list to be visible or assigned to this list from crm that can be also possible and yeah this is all about a segmentation list moving forward to the email builder that is called as account engagement email where you can have you can do the ab test you can have the templates you can have the preference page, your custom preference page. You can have your custom unsubscriber page. Again, you will see our engagement studio because all this is connected with uh, emails. So that's why now here you will see two types. One is the draft version. One is the published email template. So first we'll start with draft. Once your draft is ready, you you do you did all the testing and all, and. Uh, you you did all the testing and all and then you put on your details you decide what would be the tracker domain what is the email type html and text or only text email you have an option you want this email to be available for one-to-one -one list email autoresponder emails or for engagement program emails definitely yes you need to tick all these boxes as per the requirement and then you need to create your email uh, and then uh initially this email will uh be saved as a draft then later on you need to uh, publish this email to use that particular email in the uh, engagement studio for your drip crop uh, pro for your drip programs or maybe a lead nurturing campaign for the for your email campaign you need to publish the email campaign and this is all about the emails then we do have account engagement reports you can have all your, you can have a report, so campaign wise. Mm, you have several connected apps over here. You can have all those analytics over here. You can have a life cycle report that will give you like a total clear view of your prospects, how they are performing, is the pipeline, how many new came, and 
how many one opportunities are there after coming to your marketing efforts you can have your opportunities over here written listed down you can define your scoring categories from this section so yeah this is about the account engagement report then we'll go to content content is nothing but where you will be able to see forms form handlers layout template landing pages multi varied test custom redirects dynamic content snippets files all your files that you are going to use be it pdf or be it image then the uh, the folder structure that you are using you can have it over here tags then social media all those things will uh, fall under here anything related to search your keywords competitors paid search site search all that can be managed under the content section over here now moving ahead we will go for the account engagement setting where you will be able to see your account information then you will have optimizer that will keep on telling you about the health of your org your account engagement org and during a time you can keep an eye on this and you can you know you will they'll give you they'll configure they'll give you the issues a list of the issues that you need to work on it and then what are what will be the required steps for that and what is the severity of that it's serious or you need to like without solving that issue you won't be able to perform anything like that if there is any performance improvement measures what are the maintenance resources so to keep your org up to date these are the five steps that you need to keep an eye on it like to make sure that everything is aligned there are no inactive automation rules there are no inactive uh, you know dynamic list no unused dynamic list or duplicate prospects so this all five steps will help you this all five steps will help you to keep your uh, org healthy and then always this little brandy will keep telling you that your org is looking good or you need to work on it and all those things so yeah this is very good uh, you know recently launched a feature that helps you to uh, maintain the health of your org and this does not affect the performance of the org automation settings scoring visitor filters objects and field configuration whenever you are having any new object you want to create in your field you want to create this is where you know account engagement setting you need to come and you need to create all your connectors that you can manage from your so yeah you can see there are several connectors you can definitely have an option to create a new connector there are several uh, define several platforms are already you have like ready to click uh, easy click and you can you know configure but uh, you can also have a, you also have an option to do the uh, integration with pardot for any third party app and uh, custom integration like kind of you know you can say so you can definitely have other tools that you can connect with uh, account engagement then this is very important part and very first step before you start even developing your emails or start planning for your you know campaign with account engagement you need to uh, verify your email sending domains in to make sure that your emails are not lending into you know spam uh, you need to you know have your tracker domains verified this is an important part and then any external errors if there is anything you'll get a list over here if your account engagement is integrated with data cloud you will get the integration errors over here export import recycle bin you have a security system emails all those things are managed this report section is related to your Salesforce reports. This report is 
uh, like you will be able to you know create a combined report between your Salesforce and all your cross list of prospects and data you will be able to see over here now separate leads Next. Mm, visitors what are the page views can you see it's a very graphical way and like a dash dashboard type of uh, uh, visual and that helps to that helps you to understand and have that quick analytics of your data again you know this is segmented list rules profiles that you have and then if you are having any prospect accounts that list will be coming over here and yeah that's it all about a quick tour on account engagement i hope this was helpful thank you so much for listening